Welcome back, back to the Brotherly Love Pod, everybody. A little bit of the pod to pod. Happy Here we go. Friday. Happy Friday. Um, this is what, an exciting episode. Yeah, it's a we're, very we're exciting really episode. Happy so, to look, be you here. know, we, one of the things I always talk about is this obsession with, like, you know, um, especially being a guy, like, you know, being built, being big, being, so, you watch all these guys, and we'll get into this. We talk about this episode, which is very important to me and near and dear to my heart. We talk about The Rock and Wahlberg and all these guys, but it's all about health for me. Right, mm. being fit is a byproduct of of being healthy. That's what I love about. Absolutely. It. And yeah. our guest today, for all of our listeners out pretty there, pretty much epitomizes watching, this. By the way, guys, for everybody watching, I think his his aura speaks for himself. But for everybody listening, we are very honored. We are today. very honored to welcome the founder of a little thing called P ninety X. I don't know if you ever heard about that. And most currently, Power Nation Fitness. Please welcome to the pod. Tony, Tony Horton, 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 Horton. Thank you for being here. Yeah, you are Thanks for coming by, man. Really welcome. It. Such a pleasure to Gentlemen. have you. It Gentlemen. is so crazy, man. Uh, Matt and I were, yes. we're talking we, about We've got to open here. up with this. Yeah, you, you go. Oh, we, no. we bonded. We First literally. Well, me. Oh, I was there too, guys. You were, you were like 12 years old. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were still doing the push-ups? You were. You were. Oh, yeah. Calisthenics. He actually did come. And that's why he knows All the, the lines and stuff. Tippy, yeah. tippy, uh, stuff. I know, man. I watch this stuff. Wait, what is it? Wait, no, I love it. Or I hate yeah. it, but I love it. Yeah, yes. dude. Dude, yes. all those Everything, sayings. Man. Anyway, the point is, there was a period in our lives. Joe was working. He had just gotten married. Yep. He had two young children. Mm -hmm. And it was really the first time in our lives, because I got into physical fitness and, and knowledge about it through Joe. He was just a, in, you know, obsessed with it. Yeah. Joe's the beacon of our yes. physical he's, He fitness. brought it into our family, for sure. Now, Very there was cool. this period in our lives where he's getting married. He's two kids. He's got this job. We were kind of separating. Like, we were yeah. not talking a lot. We were mm -hmm. not doing it. And he literally called me up. He's like, you know, Matt, I'm feeling kind of like we, we, we're not talking. We're not spending that time that we why don't you just at least come over and work out with me. I found this new routine. You didn't even tell me. I found this new routine. It's kick ass, buddy. Yep. I'm telling you, I'm going to get you in the best shape of your life. I had it on my DVD. I had a portable he DVD in. player in my gym on the flat screen. That was like a bulk of five years where yeah. we bonded wow. again as brothers yep. over P90X. Yep. And wow. dude, I definitely got in the best shape of my, shape of my life. Yeah. And to this day, I still do your yoga stretch. Warm yes. Up. Shoulders, oh, yeah. I remember you were talking about, I got this shoulder injury, yeah. and I was like, I do too. So I, I do the, the 25 Everything, this man. way. The, oh, oh, Matt's You're breaking really the set. It. He's so excited. He's you know, literally. The hands down yeah, when hands you're doing down. the. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Literally, yeah, yeah. literally, yeah, yeah. literally yeah. everything from that routine. From I mean, everything, man. And it I still was, do it to this day. I still implement it. I still all do the, the push into my life. I still yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah. I still to this day. Me too. Really don't use any weight on my chest, but my push ups. And it's Damn. unbelievable. And I love that pull me, routine, man, to the family. Me, oh, so good. Every time you do the reverse grip, you do the close grip. Dude, I, awesome everything. stuff. Heart to heart. Yeah. Um, no, but and, uh, on top of that, we know it all. Like, yeah, we, we do, all, dude. Buddy. I didn't but, know it more than I do. Maybe. <laughs> I, you, I forgot a lot of that. <laughs> what it allowed me to do was it really allowed me to be consistent because mm -hmm. the gym, the problem with me with the gym is that, like you said, you're going there. People are talking to you, especially if you're known. They're talking to you. Even if you're not, they're talking to you. And you're mm -hmm. waiting for the equipment, and there's only two of the machines. You you need and now and by the time you drive there and you put yourself in the locker and then you wait and then you mm -hmm. get out yeah. mm -hmm. it's like who has three hours a day yeah i don't i mean if you're S single young people who are yeah. trying to hook up exactly right. <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. you're absolutely right there you but go when you're yeah, an you adult go. and you have a life and you have responsibilities it just doesn't happen so right. this allowed me not only i was always afraid traveling around doing what we do the filming on location i would always go this hotel doesn't have a gym i can't stay there, there. yeah it i was able to take my push-up bars, I was able to take my bands, right? I, and I was able to literally do take your routines and just kick butt. 90% right, right. of over my over workout over in the room. I know. and just be consistent. Yeah. Just yeah. be, because it really is about consistency. That's what it's well, about. And you know, I, I read something and this, this, hit, this hit me really hard and I think it makes a lot of sense to also what you're saying when it comes to working out. Going to the gym, being in the gym, it's a whole three hour process. When this psychologist figured out, when somebody's trying to set up a, a routine. A routine, there you wow, go, thank you. Word. But I'm bummed when you're trying to make your really, to make really your workout pulling for that one. into a routine and have that consistency, like yeah. you were saying. In the mind, you're thinking, do I have three hours right now? Right. If you even, this guy, he said, I knew this guy. He would show up to the gym and leave. And he said, and they were like, what was he doing? And then I saw him a year later and he was fit. And he was like, I only had five minutes. But I knew if I started mm. at least getting myself there with that five minutes, that right. that was going to be something. Right. And that's truly what it was about your routines, that you could go, okay, you know what? 
I got a half an hour. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to do Tony Horton speed on the X, this section of it right now right. instead. And Ab you build Ab yeah. Ripper. Love it, dude. I still do Ab Ripper. I mean, I'll still meet people. I was I was at the airport. I was in North Dakota yesterday. Okay. Lovely. North Dakota. Dakota. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Doing cool. a little a little talk up there for some nice. folks. Awesome. And you know, I get off the plane and I get a couple of still. You know, I'm on tonal now as well, so I get some people sure. say, "Hello, I'm on tonal. Hello, I'm on Pinot X." Of course. And it's always Ab Ripper X, man. I have I haven't done the yoga in eight years, but that Ab Ripper X. Wow. Man, crazy. That's just dude, a, it's. Look, it's I, horrible, but if people are loving that. I well, it is horrible, no, but it no, works, no. man. Your stuff yeah. just works. Now, you don't That's need to do thing. it every day. Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah hello, thank you. There you <laughs> go. Oh, hey. Thank but, you for paying attention, man. <laughs> but, yes. but, but, but truly, it. That's what it was. And I think, like we were saying, you were you are just an engaging human being. So yes. you're able to engage people on like just a, a regular level. Because so many of these people, first of all, like you did, it's gizmos and gadgets land, right? And you talk about all these food plants and this. The normal part, and by the way, we are normal. That's, it's yeah. too much. I can't handle it. I don't want to hear 12,000 things I can and can't eat, this plan, 40 books. <laughs> by the time I'm done, I'm like, I, I literally, I, I'm so overwhelmed. Mm. Most people, and was me included, like I just got discouraged. Like I didn't even want to mm. deal with it, right? Mm. So what it, you cut through all that cheese, and it was just simple. You could get right into it. Yep, I love right that. Right into the routine. And you are a very engaging, dynamic person. So you felt like you really, number one, cared because you do. And number two, you really were able to connect. Yep. And you said mm. your background, you what you were a stand-up Comedy. Yeah, I mean, okay. I, what, you, yeah, what is your background? Yeah. I don't think a lot of people know that, or maybe uh, they do. Well, I mean, I came out in 1980 from uh, from Rhode Island, Connecticut, with 400 bucks in my pocket. I was a trained street performer. Wait, what? what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did pantomime. I was pretty good at that. What? Wow. I, I, studied, I studied from a guy who is a disciple of Marcel Marceau, this guy, Michael Grando. And I was used to do these these acts back in Rhode Island, and they were... They were NC-17 mime acts. They were right. pretty, you know, because it's all college. So you're doing, I did a three-way menage a trois on the stage. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you but kidding me? It was just me up there. But I, wow. You know, I would just simulate. There's me, so myself, and Irene. Oh, my God. <laughs> me, myself, and Tony. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, uh, that was my only background. But I, I took a weightlifting course one semester while I was mm. in Rhode Island. And I just noticed the improvements. My GPA went up. I mean, I was kind of a skinny, mm. fat kid that, you know, smoked weed and drank beer. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, chase girls pretty much back in college. And then I took this weightlifting course, and I was like, "Wow, I, this! I just feel better. I have more energy. Yeah. I'm, I'm sharper." You know, I didn't realize the the mental and emotional aspects of what was going on. And then Me. you know, semester ended, and I kind of fizzled out. And then a buddy of mine, and I was still six credits short. And my buddy says, "What are you doing this summer?" And I was going to wait tables in Boston. And he said, "No, you're going to get my Grand Tr Torino. We're going to go to L.A." And I went, "Okay, well, I got 400 bucks." I ran out of the 400 bucks in Boulder, Colorado. I, I <laughs> ran out. I, was, I mean, we're sleeping in the car in Motel 6s and Dude, eating in Burger King. Dude, are you like a movie? I know. I know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, eventually, maybe. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah that's me. It better be, because this is cool. This is, this is yeah. so, yeah. so I ran out of, So I, I, I packed. I only packed a few things. My little mime outfit with my vest, and oh my I had God. the white face in the hat. Amazing. And I put, the, I mean, in Boulder, there's a lot of street performers. This is awesome. I made 125 bucks in an afternoon, and that got me to Orange County. And I slept wow. on my buddy's sister's floor for the summer, and I did mime, and I painted houses, and I did whatever I could do. Wow. And, you know, I didn't have, I was, didn't know a soul except for my buddy who brought me out there. So we were just kind of hand to mouth. Wow. And then, and then I did a talent show. First prize was like, like 2,500 bucks. Now think about that. Yeah, it's a big four. deal. Yeah. Second prize was 1,000. Third prize was like mm. 500 bucks. I won the contest because I'm up there. I'm cranking uh, Jean-Luc Ponte and, and Beatles songs <laughs> and doing, you know, three-way sex acts. Oh, my God. On, this on, guy on, is unbelievable. Yeah. Right? You know, what a like, mind blow. <laughs> what a, yeah. And the guy who, who won second place was a, played the ban banjo. He was very talented. So we're sitting at the bar. He heard my, he heard my sob story. He gave me his 1,000 bucks. So all of a sudden, I had $3,500. I called wow. my parents. I go, I'm rich. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've got, right? So I, I rented a place in Hermosa Beach, and we wow. had no furniture. We'd walk the alleys finding furniture and mattress pads, and, and that was it, man. And I would do street performing, and I was a handyman and a carpenter. Yeah. I was a go-go oh. dancer at Chippendales for a summer. Wow. Oh, Joe did Chippendales. Yeah. You guys have that in common. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> maybe we, maybe we uh, need many. Yeah, yeah. They brought me in in Vegas. I was there for like a you know, few weeks. Well, this, <laughs> is, this is when it was I over was on the West, it, you know, west just, side. Yeah. Yeah. So. yeah. You know, and that Great. was, there's more to the story, but that's how I started. Yeah, man. That is yeah. so crazy. That's so, so cool. So then, all right, so so all this happened, and then when did you start to figure out, like, okay, I got to do something, like, revolutionary? Like, you know, because that's a step. I mean, yeah, how did you get from there to, to P90X? To, yeah. Like, I mean, I mean, like, like <laughs> how what? much time? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, I know, yeah. I know. Hold on. But I mean, uh, like, were you sitting there one day and you were like, I got to find something that is obtainable? Because obviously, we grew up and I grew up, and you know, you got like, 
the thigh master and all these ridiculous things and Jane Fonda jumping around they and doing were the, these things. They were the ones that were, you know. But like, those were so much, in my opinion, more gimmick than they were actually like, right. actually right, like, right, you know, right. tactical, where you could put those into formation and actually do it. You know, because the right. thigh master, I mean, everybody had, my mom had one. I was in the thigh master commercial. Yeah. Oh. I was in the yeah. thigh master. There's a, there's a spot oh where yeah. they cut to, one girl's doing this. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> with the arms. Yeah. Right. Not just with the thighs, baby. Yeah. And it's like, you know, working on her pecs. Oh my and goodness. then next to her, I was there doing this. With the, with the right there. Oh, and oh I my told God. everybody, I'm going to be on the TV. Thing. And, oh you know, it's God. about a second and a half of me. You know. and, then, and then it was when, it, like, you're the girl, right? And she's doing this. Yep. And, they, and the director would go, now look at her. <laughs> It's so 80s, bro. It's so 80s. 80s. Oh, and I had, I had like the lime green and pink tights oh, on God. with that cut off t-shirt tied at the waist. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Brilliant. Oh, Brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, good oh, my stuff. gosh. One of the first acting gigs I got, because I came to town, right? And I, you know, was kind of floundering and whatnot. But, you know, I got an agent and the agent looked at me and said, you're looking a little pudgy in the wrong places, a little skin in the others. So wow. get to the gym. So I joined one, two, three, four gyms. One of them was World Gym. Okay. And I was training and you know, I wasn't training anybody because I didn't really know what I was doing. I, would, I was at World Gym and I would watch Arnold and Lou and I'd go, 47 sets of chess, seems extreme, but wow, I would dude. just do what he's doing. Wow. You know what I mean? I'd go in there and work, work, work <laughs> <Seems extreme. laughs> All right. I mean, he's Arnold, so he must know what yeah. he's doing. Trust me, this is all natural. <laughs> For the guys, you look incredible. Um, <laughs> 47 sets. <laughs> Oh my yeah, God. God. So, I, you know, and then, and then I was very fortunate. I was working over at Fox as a runner, as a PA. Crazy. And uh, I worked for a guy by the name of Harlan Goodman, who used to be in the music industry. He okay. used to work at East End Management on Sunset Boulevard. And he managed Billy Idol, Tom Petty, and a couple other big, oh, big yeah. wow. folks. You Just know? a few of those people. I don't know whether you know them or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah that's good. He got out of the music business because he met Julia Phillips. Her and her husband, Michael Phillips, produced Close Encounters of the Third Kind, mm. The Sting, and Taxi Driver. Wow. And now I'm, I'm running around, you know, feeding the cats and hiding the pot and <laughs> making copies and making coffee. That's, you know, and I was on the lot. This was a big deal. Wow. And Harlan was, no, because I'm going out on auditions. That's why I had the gig, because they would let me go out and audition once that in a while. That is so... And Harlan's like, what? Damn, man, you look different in the last six months. Well, you know, my agent said I look like ass, so I got to, you know, clean up, clean up my act. He said, can you train, train me before we both go to work? So he and I were at oh, my buddy's wow. garage, which was mostly dust and rust in oh there. You know what God. I mean? Yeah. Surprised we ended up with some kind of respiratory nice. thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so, staff. little staff, yeah. don't worry about it. <laughs> and he goes, what are you, are you, you know, I wasn't certified. I didn't know what I was doing. I just did what I was doing because he saw what I was doing. And it was chest and back and shoulders and arms and cardio and whatever. Yep. He lost 35 pounds. He couldn't make a movie to save his life. Julia, you know, was nuts. She was completely crazy. So I had a couple of, I was, you know, still painting, still bartending, still had other gigs. And I, and I had about three or four other clients, training mm. folks. And so anyway, Harlan decides to go back to East End Management. And uh, I went off, I, I quit too, because he left, because Julia fired me every Friday and then rehired me every Sunday night. Was, <laughs> We'd like you to come back. back. The, the, Get out, yeah, get your things. The light bulb at the bottom of the driveway is out. You're fired. Oh my, <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. Actually, I need that light bulb changed. You're hired <laughs> yeah, again. Yeah, yeah, can you come back? <laughs> Nobody, can you please nobody, come back? Nobody yeah. else can do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I need the light bulb yeah. changed again. But We'd to like make that. a long story good, Harlan goes back to East End Management and then he's there and Tom Petty's walking down the hallway, he's smoking a cigarette because he often did. He's from Gainesville. This is a horrible Tom Petty. I apologize. No, it's great. <laughs> so, so he goes, holy crap, Harlan, you look fantastic. I'm going on tour and I'm fat. Nobody likes a fat rocker. And Harlan says, call Tony Horton. No, oh, no way. No way. Gosh. So I didn't know. Phone rings. Roommate picks it up. We have friends downstairs that were practical jokers. Hi, it's Tom Petty. I'm looking for Tony Horton. Bob went, there he is. It's John downstairs. And he hung up on Tom Petty. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. And the phone rings. Hey, we got disconnected. And Bob goes, dude, I think this is him. Give me the phone. And it was him. And the next day I was at his house. And uh, Dude. And, wow. Uh, you know, I met Tom and I got, I had about four months to get him ready on this tour. And he got, he couldn't, I mean, he was grossly out of shape. Yeah. But I got him a heavy bag. I got him a stationary bike. I got him a bench, dumbbells. Um, and we just slowly start at it. And he was starting to cut off his sleeves of his shirt and wearing leather vests I without shirts. I remember that. He was just had this period where he was super striated. I remember that. Tour was amazing. And then I was on Unreal. tour with him. Oh. And then Billy Idol called. And then oh. Stephen Stills called. And then Annie Lennox. And, Dude. and oh Sh my Sean God. Connery. And, this is uh, the coolest and ever. Then, uh, the like, the come on, man. When what everybody you know you trained a con, man. Yeah, man. Wow, when, Dude. when everybody was in town, I started with, I started with Billy in the morning. 
I went to Tom, then Annie Lennox, then Stephen Stills, then the boss. Oh, wow. Bruce? On any given oh. one. Yeah, for a bit. Well, Bruce wasn't in town very often, but it was a pretty... Wow. Of course, there's no Instagram or Twitter. Of course. No, no, I know, no, man. I know. No, no evidence, so I could be making that. No. Yeah, no, I, no. We've, we've got a lot of that. We're from that era as well. We, we tell our stories. Yeah. We could barely check them. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, it didn't I'm exist. It's the truth, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not looking to gain followers. It's just a story. Well, no, proof, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, right. it's, it's, it's just exactly you know, right. just yeah. life. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah and yeah, proof yeah. Is today the, people doubt because everyone's looking for followers. Well, you the proof know? isn't you know? the pudding there, you know, so to speak. It it's, well, there's it no is. denying it, man. And uh, then, and then, did you have that lightning in a bottle moment when you were like, like whether it was called P90X or not, but whether you were like that program, like P90X, like what, what, how did that, how did because well, that was. You know, early on, they were just gigs. Like, I went to uh, Minneapolis to work for Nordic Track, and so I was working, mm -hmm. learning how to walk, you know, walk and chew gum at the same time, reading a teleprompter. They, they tried to hire actors, but they didn't look the part. They didn't know what kinesiology right. was or what a, they didn't know the difference between a bicep and a quadricep, you know. Right. I wasn't very good on camera yet. I was still pretty stiff. But they, you know, they cultivated me, and I went about five or six times. And then I was on, I was on the Playboy channel for a little bit. So were you really? As a host, a, a show called 360 with Tracy Tweed. And really? That, three cameras, teleprompters, a lot of opening bits, comedy bits, and all the stuff that she and I would do. And that was another way, just sort of getting more comfortable. 100%. Plus, still training people, still trying to train Tom and Billy and everybody else, you know, and then other clients were coming in. And then wow. at some point, uh, I was doing a lot of personal development at the time, just reading every book I could, Deepak Chopra, Andrew Wilde, mm -hmm. uh, Gary Zukov. Just, I just wanted to be a better human being because mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to be sad. And I'm, go, I'm going through that right now. No yeah, kidding. I'm going man. through. A, it changed a my life. Like that. Yeah. I mean, I, I had an acting coach, this guy Daryl Hickman, who was in the Grapes of Wrath. He was mm. uh, down at Debbie Reynolds' studio, okay. and I would drive every Thursday night from the West Side in that traffic to just go in there and learn to be in the moment, be yeah. present, and trying to you know find those find yeah. those characters and stuff. So all that stuff was going on. And then I was, one of my personal development books was, at the end of every chapter, there was a lesson. Go out of your way and do something extraordinary for somebody you're in conflict with. I'm like, I don't do nice things for people I like. I this know, is going right? to be a bitch. Wait, wait. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I like you when I'm not doing anything. Uh, it's funny, man. Yeah, Jeez. so there was, I used to play hoop with these lawyers, and this one guy and I did not get along, but he was overweight, and we were, he was complaining about his weight after one of these games. And I thought, go out of your way and do something for this ass jack you know yeah. so i went over just went through the motion and i went hey ben you know I, I hear you complaining about your weight he goes yeah don't you train petty and idle and the boss i go i didn't even know he knew that you know what i mean mm. so I, I said yeah i got monday wednesday fridays at, at eight o'clock free he showed up at my place i thought for sure that would last a week we ended up becoming best friends a year later he introduces See? me to wow. a guy that he hires wow out of philly this guy carl deichler this young kid philly and then Philly, Philly. 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 there you go. We're all Philly yeah. wow. And so Carl and I hit it off. We did a thing called Power 90, which lots of people know about. They don't. We yeah. sold about 3.5 million. Yep. Wow. I got to move out of my apartment after 21 and a half years with a view of the convalescent home and my wow. broken down Mustang. You know, I didn't have any awesome, enough money dude. for furniture. Dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah. And then, then when you know that kind of made its way through the you know through the uh, the population. And then we were talking about what to do next. And I said we should kind of back off Power 90. He goes, No, let's make it harder. I'm like, What? So he gave me a year to do all the research because I wasn't good at martial arts. I wasn't good at, that good mm. at yoga yet. I didn't know how to cue all that stuff properly, mm. but he gave me plenty of time. We made this thing called P90X. The Jeez. first year, it flatlined. I mean, nothing. Because really? most people were going through the, like, because it, it was a son of a bitch. It was, it was just really hard, it's, right? It's, yep. But then this is the sure. advent of the internet, like the beginning when people, cameras went from their shoulder to their hands yeah. yes. and they're yeah. sending their before and after pictures. They're sending their, their, yeah. their stories. Yeah. Yeah. And we yeah. just stuck that in the infomercial and you know, I don't Boom. know, 11 million copies later. Yeah. I mean, oh my, I know, wow. dude, it was yeah. so. First I mean, of all, waiting for P90X2 how, 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 oh my was God. like a movie. It was. I remember. It really was. No, no we were I talking about it. Like, no, dude, no, I yeah, remember yeah, no. the yeah. anticipation of like, it's coming it's out. It's coming yeah, out. Absolutely. Good thing. Cool. Sequel. Yeah. I felt like I was talking about like the next Mission Impossible. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Like, they're coming out with a sequel. It's true. Cruise is back. It's his Horton's back. I know. <laughs> I, know. I know, dude. God. It's so true, no, it's dude. It's so true, dude. Oh, it really is. So true. That yeah. was what it was like. And it wasn't yeah. just us. I mean, it was our whole community it of friends. Yeah, it's true. We had everybody on it. Yeah. Still to this day, all my friends are mm -hmm. on it and yeah. still use it. Well, again, because he's the beacon of fitness. Yeah, and all of our, us, and all of for it. We're look, like, you know, look, I'm I, turning I, purple here. This is amazing. No, dude, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you know, I live in my, I live in my little cave. Oh, we, us and too. I just set it out. Yeah. You know, and I run into somebody at the airport. I go, really? Are you making that up? No, it's, no. you know, it's. No, man. Yeah. I mean, I've been to 63 military bases around the world. I've done workouts at the Pentagon. I've jumped out of the, you know, 15,000 feet with the Golden Knights. I threw what? up seven times on F-15, 17 in Okinawa. Dude. I flew with the, uh, with the uh, not the Blue Angels, but the Thunderbirds. Threw up in that thing. 
So, you know, oh. like you go, oh, this thing is popular. You no, know I mean? yeah. everybody is doing it. Absolutely. I think dude. it was, I think to this, to this day, it is still the most attainable, like functional mm -hmm. workout that you can do with a program that was set up designed for the masses. Because mm -hmm. I feel like, and I always say this with, with everybody that I try to inspire, you do what you can do. That's what you made possible. Right. I don't care how many reps. You do how many you can do. Yeah. This guy may do 25. Yep. You may do 12. You'll get to 25. I remember you doing your pull-ups going, look, I did 50. That's but right. It's not these, about things, 50. these things are yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 50. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Oh, oh, God. God. Oh, God. Just hearing you say I, that right I, now. No. Oh, my Lord. PTSD. Yeah. Yeah. No. I got two words for you guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Great, Seriously, man. I that Dude, was great. honestly I know, that's like awesome. I think released people of the guilt of like keeping up with somebody else. Bingo. This yeah. is your program. Bingo. I designed this for everybody, but it's for you. But it's designed you. for you. Yeah. So yeah. that's it. You do ten. I remember that one super shredded guy on one of the DVDs. He was doing the the decline push-ups right, right in your chest routine. He said. Look at you said. Look at this guy he's shredded. He was doing. He was, doing <laughs> I remember that. I did too, yeah. he was like the thinner guy, yeah. but he was yeah. he's shredded. Yeah. But, yeah. He was like, yeah. but he was he was literally going like this. He was going like one, and you're like, oh, I love it. I love it. Look at him. He's just feeling that burn. He's <laughs> yeah. Nice and slow. Calm in the, the storm. Burn. Right. Calm, Calm right. in the right. storm. Whereas, yeah. whereas you I'm, said, I, I like I to jump in and I bang him out. I do my. I start with my wide grip because yeah. you know, it's too wide, too yeah. short. Yeah. Anyway, and he was like one, two, and just banging him out. Fast twitch. This guy's working on slow twitch. But again, he said this guy can do 17. You may do 12, I did 50, it doesn't matter. Yep. You're gonna get the same gain that I'm getting if you just go to fail. You work yep. till you mm. can't work you anymore. Can't work. That was my favorite even, part of Okay, that. even during Ab River when it was like, okay, now look, he's got his hands up, he's yep. making it oh, harder for yeah, himself. Yeah, 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 I remember yeah. going, I gotta get my yeah, hands yeah, off yeah, the yeah, crowd. Yeah. Yep. It's so you know, great. The only thing that we, because I saw what was out in the market, and it all seemed A, cheesy. Yes. Mm -hmm. B, unobtainable. Yeah. Yes. You know, there weren't real people who were in the struggle. They no. were a lot of fitness no. models who rehearsed the heck crap. Right. Like that. Exactly. And it didn't have the variety that the P90X had. I mean, 12 completely not. different routines. Yep. Because I realized, when I was working with Petty and Idol and all those cats, you know, their management was, you know, up my butt about, hey, right. you got this amount of time, here's what you got to do. There's a lot at stake, got you know it. what I mean? Let's get mm. these. And so I added heavy bags. I, I added yoga. I added, you know, yeah. all different kinds of things. Because that, I mean, I have the attention span of a gnat on crack cocaine in myself, totally. you know what I mean? Right. And We're I don't same. necessarily love exercise. So I, right. I gather the I, funny? I, I don't either. I'm not yeah. that into it. Yeah, you know I get it. I get it, yeah. man. I mean, I was on the road. I mean, I two flights and an hour and a half drive, and I'm in North Dakota, and it's 4:30, and it feels like midnight. But I put my shoes on, and I went out, and I ran wow. the 5.9 miles wow. with, with the wind in my face. And the first half hour was like I was in hell, yeah. and I hated it. But yeah. when I turned around, that wind was at my back. I went, yeah, man, that's why I'm out here. Dude. Yeah. That's why I'm dude, out dude, here. Love it, dude. Yeah. That, that is so out. true, true man. man. And by the way, for me, you know, like you, Joe, it's not, it's not about the... Aesthetic, or is it? Well, it's, <laughs> it looks <laughs> fantastic. It is, it is so a little bit. Cut in the middle it's of the insane. I know. See, you guys should do. Yeah, well, it, he's leaner than it's me. called I don't a have it. bicep, meaning yes. there are two muscles That's in right. the upper That's arm. Right. Right. Uh, so, oh, it's the first time I've ever heard yes, that. Yes, no, it's no, a no, bicep. That's why the tricep has three. Three heads. One, two. One, two. You're literally just blowing my mind right now. Take it in, baby. I'm literally going to buy a heavy bag on the way home. I'm already thinking of like, I got to get back in this guy. I got to go. Let's Go. Dude, I am coming to my house. I Please. will destroy you. Oh. Get in shape, dude. I want to be in shape oh, so bad. Yeah. Are you dude, kidding? I got to get to that next level. I try to stay almost ready because I don't believe, you know, like I have these dreams of playing like Batman or Die Hard or something like that. I don't. Oh, it's, I don't, it's coming, I don't, bro. It's coming, bro. It's coming. I don't. I don't want to be the guy. I. I. I it, it drives me nuts when I'm like, yeah, I had to get in shape. I had to. I like. I stay adjacent to ready. You right there. Mm. So you got to change that adjective. You get to work out. Right. You yep. get to get yeah. your body right. in shape. Yeah. So and the, and the the implications of that, when well, you said mentally, that's the big one for me. Yeah, I slide. If yeah. I stop working out and doing physical stuff, I slide and a month it, and a half it, down the road. I'm like, why am I so depressed? Yeah, because you end up with an exercise bipolar disorder is really yeah. what you end up Interesting. getting. Interesting. Dude, go, go, you guys read uh, John Rady's wow. book, Spark. 
Spark. You read okay. Spark, you'll never miss a workout again for the rest of your life. It's okay. all about the, the mental and emotional effects of physical wow. activity Spark. on mm -hmm. the brain. Because when you exercise, you're, deep, you're taking deep breaths. I don't care whether it's yoga or you're running mm -hmm. or it's one of P90X workouts. You release norepinephrine, dopamine, serotonin, brain-derived neurotropic factor, PDF. It's miracle growth for the center of your brain. There's wow. the temporal lobe, uh, temporal lobe, there's the hippocampus, and inside that is something called the dentate gyrus. It's like the size of an infant's pinky finger. And if you cut open the head of somebody who has an exercise, it's black. If you open up the head of somebody who's been working out, it is pink, but, which means wow. your brain is ready. It's open, it's optimistic, it's enthusiastic, it's filled with energy. Maybe that's why right? I have energy I have. That's yeah. exactly why. Yeah, you I mean, that, look at me, I'm 65. People, most of my peers are 65. Uh, I can't. Yeah, it's ridiculous, dude. Can I, I know, go, dude. Hold the escalators out, I'm fucked. I know. <laughs> you know what I'm no, it's true, dude. Yeah, yeah it's I mean, really it's, true, it's, bro. it really, and that's, I mean, you know, what's your purpose? If it's to be, look like a certain way in the future, well, that's, you know, that's a prediction that probably won't come true. But if you exercise today because a myriad of so many other things mm. are happening for you in a positive way, well, then you do it. You get out there and you go for the run. So the next morning, I went down to the gym. Mm. I go, you know what? I'm going to do 18 sets of shoulders and arms. I did 32 because... Uh, wow, yeah. man. You know what I mean? Awesome. Yeah. I just, you know, you got to kind of... I mean, I've been doing this long enough that I can walk into a gym that is pretty beat up and doesn't have much to offer and make something happen. You right, know what right, I mean? Right, um, right. The P90X offers that. The power, the new one, the Power yeah, 4. Yeah, tell us about yeah, this. Yeah, tell us about what's, what's in man? store. Yeah, yeah we're well, excited. Well, yeah. So, like, so, like, so, like, so like, if we come to your house, which, by the way, we're, <laughs> we're coming. <laughs> we, we are here. just invited ourselves. We have yeah. millions of listeners that are now going to hold you to that. <laughs> yeah, we really want to come. Yeah. But um, can I say something which is weird? And I sure. hope that you guys break this pattern. Okay. okay. There's been a lot of celebrities, a lot of professional collegiate Olympic athletes that have done the, my program, and I've offered that to Dude. come to my house, and they 99.9 .9 bail on. That's really? not way, bro. Because they think no, I'm not come. in shape, good enough shape. I'm. The, I know I'm not no. in shape, and that's why I'm. No, coming. no, that's yeah. not. That's I'm, not us. I'm you, coming. Hey, but, but you know, like, do your best, forget no. the rest. 100. Right? Well, how many can you do? Seven. How many can your brother that's do? That's my old 20. Who cares? Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'll do you're 20. in. You're here, man. I might not be able to move the next day. On. Yeah. But I'll do 20. No, he's so very what? competitive. Yes. Yeah. yeah good. Yes. yes. Competitive. And I'm 47. And I'm 47. And I'm getting to that place now where I'm like. You know, but I will always take the stairs if there are stairs. I will take them. I won't take the elevator. No, no way. Point. No way. But I, people often ask me, they're like, how do you have the energy that I have? Because I've been doing this professionally myself for 42 years, you know, so a very long time. And, you know, it's so funny because at this age, people are like, you know, you look pretty good for your age, you know, because I'm 47. And I said, I don't know Dude, you look 29. I said, yeah. Because, I said, people I think said, I'm older. <laughs> He's 12 <laughs> years <laughs> older than me. It's so no, I got, I'm like, <laughs> what? I got to <laughs> save that. I got to get yeah, a little yeah. hair color. Well, I, I got to get that. You know, By the way, that's my color, Matt. Dude, that is unbelievable. That's my color. See, I think Matt's going to be lucky. No gray. No gray, buddy. Right here, buddy. Why do I? You know what? I have I have kids. Dude, what do I mean? I have, <laughs> I have, I have, I have no I kids. I got no kids. I'm turning had, into the Witcher at I've 35. Had, <laughs> I've got full gray I've got a lot of responsibility uh, on me for a very long time. But I have a lot of gray. It's true. Joe yeah. actually, oh, so Joe took over our family, you know, when he was like 14 or 15. He, was, <laughs> yeah. he became like literally the, the dad, brother, uncle. He became everything. So, so. That's, I mean, no. Very gray. Oh, right here. well, right. Mm. this is every color under the sun. This is black and white, and this is white. So Got that it. looks That's ridiculous. It's kind of cool. So I put a little, I like a little something in the yeah, beard. Yeah, I get you. I get but I'm going to have to, my beard's white. So, dude, we, whatever that... Are you my cousin? Dude, I know. What's come on. We're like best friends. <laughs> yep. 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 Um, <laughs> favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to. Good, Good housekeeping. housekeeping. Um, yeah, yeah. That's from Seth Brothers. Seth Brothers. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but, I, but people ask me, and these guys say all the time, I don't know what Joe's on, right? Because I'm not... I've never done drugs. Um, I, I've never. And, uh, you know, I drank, obviously, but I don't drink. Uh, when I was 21, I did, but I don't drink at all. I stopped you know. drinking yeah. 25 yeah, years I don't, ago. Yeah, I literally don't drink. Yeah. I mean, I just yeah. don't. Um, you know, and, and they say, I can only imagine if Joe was on drugs, you know, because I have a lot of energy all the time. But to your point, the little, that little thing, that my, oh, I'm hoping the it's dente pink. Gyrus. No, you, you definitely. Dente. Dude, that thing is pink. <laughs> yeah. Is the head. dente what? Dentate gyrus. The dente gyrus. The dente gyrus. Yes. Inside the hippocampus. Inside the hippocampus, temporal Hippocampus, dente gyrus. Okay. Boom. Those yeah. are words of the day, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We need to write those up. We need yeah. to write those down. No, man. but I, I I feel like that is my drug, is that mm -hmm. I feel bad if I don't get in there. And you know what? I feel like I'm a former, uh, a shadow of my former self, as my grandfather used to always say, because he was in great shape up until mm -hmm. he was 90 years old. And always did. He did the military workout because he was a, a Navy guy. Yeah. So yeah. He, it was always push -ups, walking, push-ups, sit-ups, push sit pull-ups. Pull pull -ups. Even That's at like, I'll yeah. never forget, even at 90 years old, he exactly. would get down, he'd do five or 10. He'd do five, but then he'd get yeah. back in the chair. He's like, I can only do five, so I gotta, I'm going to do some of these. Yeah. I'm going to do some of these. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a little of these. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Join yeah, I wish I wish I grew up with you guys. Oh, oh man, you would have loved it. Yeah. It was like a lot of yeah. fun. Yeah, they yeah, like, would have. Yeah. 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 And then he'd grab you and go, and yeah. you'd walk by unsuspecting, his hands. and he'd go, yeah. 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 Well, here's the thing. You guys yes. come to my house. I got pegboards. I got a 20-foot rope. I have a 17-foot rope. No, we're, do, we're doing... I, I have fingertip pull-ups. Dude. I mean, your your grip. I mean, I have I have the GI Joe grip. Okay, well, from I that, don't. So. I don't. Pop did. My pop. Yeah, he had yeah. that. Grip. He, he had one of those, those things. Little, that little machine, you know? Yeah, yeah. I'm scared, man. Ta yeah. Go ahead, Dang, give it everything. Oh, I, I mean, come on now. Tell me when you started. I'm all the way there. That's man. Pop. That's yeah, yeah. yeah just, that's my pop. Just, just like that. He'd be like, he'd be like this. Our pop up yeah. would literally go like, go make you crumble. He'd be like. You'd be like, uh huh. Uh huh. Are you going to start something? Yeah, tell me when you're oh, starting. Yeah. Yeah. Like, and then, wait, and then he'd go like this. He'd, he'd go, oh, oh. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. He would do it to other grown men. Yeah. yeah. That weren't oh, suspected. wow. He wow. pulled. Well, he no, pulled at, somebody. At, at 90 years old, he, his thing was he'd go to, you'd go to shake his hand and he would drag you over. Because you think oh, he was like an old man, you know? guy. And he would just rip you over. But he did that to somebody powerful. Lou. The head of Lou. Who was like 6'2. He was a CIA guy, all right? He was now retired as a big, uh, still he, to this day. Yeah, he, he runs the elite, amazing, elite group. Amazing yeah. company. Amazing. They do company. all the security for like the royal family and Fergie and yeah. so on. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, so he's like a, a big yeah. guy. Yeah. Lou's from New York and he talks like this. Yeah, his know. favorite saying is if you're out there, Lou, it's just not in the cards, Joe. It's not in the cards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. I never really knew what that meant, but I would say he would say it to normal Lou like, Palumbo. I'm like, yeah. yeah. I'd be like, Lou, do you want some fries? It's not in the cards, Joe. I'd be like, <laughs> right. You know, anyway, I would always joke him because I would always dream about being married and being a family guy and having kids and I have three beautiful daughters and the whole thing. And and Lou would be like, you know, it's not in the cards, I'm never getting married. Well, he, I think he has five kids now. Yeah, he got he married does. like in his fifties, oh, wow. has five kids. Yeah, he's got a lot of I kids. Got, I got married at fifty five too. So okay, yeah, first so, time. yeah. And wow, he just cool. was banging out the kids with like LAX. They just kept landing. <laughs> uh, and and anyway, but he was a big guy in great shape. Yeah. Uh, and my pop literally pulled him off his feet. Yeah. Literally. Pulled him right off and his feet. And my pop was my pop was six mm. one about mm. one. 168 yeah, and literally no yeah. just, just and he would it's, say, it's the un, you, you underestimate you, you don't you don't think like yours he and he just goes boom and, you're like, <laughs> and then he'd be crushing and be like let me know when you want me to go to half half power yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. that was half you power our grandfather was, i would have yeah. loved our him grandfather was, yeah, he was like awesome. the salt of the salt he had the mm. personality of mm. johnny carson literally oh, yeah. with with the stature of jack palance yeah so that's what his that's what, what a combo. Would, yeah, yeah. Really exactly. Nice. And for those of you under 20, you'll yeah. have to Google those two. Yes, yeah, you, you will. will. Yes, Johnny Carson so, was the king of late night, and Jack Palance was a boxer turned actor who was an amazing just personality. Just and yeah. swagger. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Just incredible. Yeah, swagger, that guy. Just epitomized through like masculine swagger yeah, yeah. without being like overtly grotesque with Hollywood it. Hollywood you know? macho. Yeah, yeah macho he man, was. Man. He yeah, was one of the era. Really cool. yeah, I remember was. when he won the Academy Award, he did one arm push ups That's on right. the stage yes, he did. at the Oscars. Yeah. That's right. Thank you for this. I remember that. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, cool. <laughs> so great. Yeah, so, great moment. Now, and uh, excuse me for prying, but I'm curious about your story here because you have, it's it's bizarrely inspirational. I mean, it's it's really wild. I, I My mind was blown because I you, you were Superman in my mind. You know yeah. what I mean? Oh, my well, God. Well, no, literally. You, literally, you look I, like Superman. You, you, I mean, you, were, you did P90X, you had 46, so my age. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you the were, camera adds 10 pounds of muscle. Uh, but we, we know. know. Yeah, yeah, we yeah, know. Yeah. No, that's like, not, you were like, no way, man. You were, I was a buck 80 there. I'm, a, I'm 171 now. Wow. Yeah. You were hunt you okay and how and how tall are you? Five ten and a half, five five eleven wow. at the time. I've lost wow. half an inch. Wow, yeah, that's so we've cool. all lost. I always say I'm 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 five nine six one. So it depends on the shoes. <laughs> uh, no, but I'm five nine to put that perspective, I'm five nine, I weigh one sixty one. Mm. So, you know, but for me it's about shred. I Matt genetically is shredded. He, yeah, I mean, when I, we were doing the handshake, I was looking at that forearm. Yeah, that's, no, that's yeah, so, I, but, I, no, but spectacular. My, Matt has, Matt has Kudos, bro. shredded abs, no Always. fat at all. He just has, my grandfather was built that way. Yeah. Super mm. lean, all right? Yeah. He's got toothpicks for legs, but that's what it is, right? He's just shredded. Oh, uh, well, I'll see you at Playa next week. Yes, oh. night. And, and sorry to interject, but I just want to say this because I know, and people get upset when I say this, but... I have a body type that is actually, it requires- Oh, don't say this, man. Please, it requires <laughs> a lot of attention. No, you're, you're an ectomorph, obviously, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah so it requires yeah. a lot for me to also look and feel comfortable the way that I wanna be, because honestly, my natural, I, I'm probably, I'm maybe 145 right now. If I didn't work out and really focus on eating, I'd be 128. But you know what? You and I have the same body. For, I'd body be like type. a rail, you know? Yeah, I mean, I'm naturally, I, I'm, you know, I shouldn't. If I didn't, you know, do what I did, I would be much thinner than. I yes, I'd that's be, me. I'd be about a, a buck sixty. Yeah. or less. Okay, yeah. there you go. So for me, it's so funny. Andy is the broad. The he gets my mom. You look, you look mesomorph to me. What does that mean? You just naturally build muscle pretty easily. 
Yeah, well, like you, you, you look like a guy, you know, I mean, there's ecto, meso, endo. Endomorph is big bone folks, big. big it's me. Big, it's him. Yeah, but then, ah. again, but then you look at bodybuilders on a stage, they're one of those three things, but when you see them on stage, they all look very similar because, mm, just, you know, some people have a longer journey, have a different road than others. Right, I mean, right. you just have to, some take, you know, eight months, some take, you know, seven years, but everybody's, fo it depends what you're focusing on. Like, you know, for example, I did this event in North Dakota. There were all shapes and sizes. There's one table of all these uh, CrossFit girls, okay. right? And we were talking about, you know, what's your purpose? What's your plan? How do you stay accountable? Right. What do, how, do you, how, how do you up the ante when it comes to, you know, improving over time? You add more reps. You add more range of motion. You, you know, you add more weight, whatever it takes. Yeah. But each one of you, you might have slightly different genetics. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you're all, you know, you all have the same parents pretty yeah. much? We yeah. Do. Yeah. 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 I mean, if I had all three of you for six months, you'd all look pretty much the same. Dude, I can't wait. Dude, we have, have to do it. So can, we, can we do this? We gotta do this. Oh, wait, oh, We're gonna get the I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna need a written commitment. Dude, I will we'll give do it. One. No, I'm Where's telling you. Where's the text? Because apparently a thumbs up is a, is a, is a contract now. It's just yeah. so you know. Yeah. Yeah. Don't give thumbs up unless you mean it. Look at this, guys, right here. See this? Right here. I'm telling you, my one thing not to talk about ourselves too much because it's about you, but no, but true, but I will. No, I won't, but I will, but I will. I'm very entertained. So go for it. Who always says that? That's my horrible impression of the former president, I'll say that, but because he would always say something and then say he didn't say it and then said he said it. You know what I mean? yeah, yeah. I'm not yes. going to talk about myself, but let me tell you something, I'm talking about myself. <laughs> I love that. Uh, no, but uh, so for, for, for me, it's it's this little pudge down here. Like I have upper abs, but the lower abs, um, we're Italian, right? So Matt doesn't have that. I got more of the Italian side. Mm. We're a little English Irish too. Wait, 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 wait. You're English, Irish, and Italian? Yeah. yeah. I'm English, Irish, and Italian. We dude. see, dude, there's... This is, I'm telling you, there's something... Where have you guys been my whole life? Yeah, I know! Come on! <laughs> Wait, which side is Italian? Dad. Father. Father. Mother. I'm okay. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. There you go, cool, man. There you yeah. go. So, yeah. at any rate, for me, it's always about... Uh, Mac can eat a lot of whatever he wants. I have to be super strict mm -hmm. if I want to stay really dialed in. If I'm not, man, I... Uh, and for me, five pounds, I see it, like... Me too. Three, five, three to five pounds, yeah. dude, is a massive difference between none of that little skin that sits on top to just mm -hmm. that thin layer, which drives me nuts. I don't need to stay like, you know, crazy vascular, but for me, it's like, I'm like about 80%, you know, where I would it, like it's, to be. It, you know, every morsel matters, man. It does. Not for everybody, maybe mm -hmm. not for most for, for you, no, but really for in general, not only for the aesthetic appearance, but also for your general health. I mean, yeah, we're talking totally. about our brain and our organs and our lungs and everything right. else right. that we don't see that usually take us down in the end because we made bad food choices along the way. You're That's 100% correct. I'm the same correct. way. I went to Jackson Hole for five weeks. I'm a skier. We have a place there, right? So I just said, and I was alone most of the time. I have a tonal down in my, you know, in my, in my place and I have some dumbbells and a pull-up bar. And so I told myself five weeks, I have to either A, ski my ass off, shovel snow for an hour and a half, or, or train downstairs, or some combination of the three. I only missed three days, I lost eight pounds, and my little, my little love handle that's what I get. disappeared. I need to like, get rid I, of those. I have a six pack, but then I got a couple of muffins. That's what I have. <laughs> but when that, I was does that, that happen in your 40s? Is that what it is? It does, it, yeah, your metabolism yeah. slows down, yeah, it's yeah. harder to build muscle mass yeah, as we yeah. get older. But I mean, discipline is discipline, man. Yeah, you know man. what I mean? Like if you're, you're, you look at the food, you either eat it or you don't. Yep. If you eat the right stuff, you're gonna look leaner. I don't care yep. who the heck you are. That's yeah. And I had that discipline. Yep. I mean, I, sh I went to Whole Foods there in town and I only bought the food that I knew that was gonna help me get super lean. So yeah, I man. trained my butt off, I ate super clean. I mean, when you're skiing six hours a day, that's it helps. something's going on, yeah. that's yeah. helpful too. Oh, absolutely. But, but, you know, I mean, it really depends on, you know, what your purpose is. I promise you, I promise. No, we will be we there. Will, but will, oh my gosh! Commit, and, I'll, and, I'll, and I'll tell you what, we will document it. We will document. There you it. go. Oh, dude, oh. you'll see a huge. We will put it. I used to be and, really and, No, no, we will put it on social media. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it. it we'll be like, look at what, look at what Tony's we'll do, doing for us. Yeah, we'll, like, we'll, we'll do, do like it. weekly no updates. Problem. We'd love to, dude. Absolutely, everyone would love to see that. Let me explain what's coming your way. Okay, do it, do it, do it. All right, so now Monday night is is cardio night, right? So if you guys can come, I mean, scheduling is going to be difficult too. You're not going to make all the results. Right, right. So that that's five thirty Monday night. We we go from the slide board to the to the stationary bike to the Versa climber to the cool. treadmill to the um, heavy bag to the rowing machine oh to I'm the ski die. machine. I'm gonna die. There's eight <laughs> eight things. We're on there. Each one for three minutes. Wow. Three minutes, and we we take we try to get two rounds in in under an hour. So there's no time in between. Wow. Uh, 
uh, Tuesday mornings, the shoulders and arms, 24 to 32 sets. Yes. Some, you know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Just, yeah, you know, yeah we got yeah. the tonal, and we do a little circuit it's with some great. friends. Wednesday is plyo. I invite 35 people, usually like... Plyometrics. Dude. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and why, why do I invite 35 people? Because only four or five come. Right. Because they know what a son of a bitch it is. Plyos. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Um, but, you know, look, <laughs> you, you show up, and yeah. I go, hey, Matt. Well, here's what we're going to do. Here's the modified version. You do your version right. or you, you hang, whatever you want well, to do. that's another thing, right. too. There's yeah. always a modification. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure, yeah, for right? sure. And then uh, chest and back. That was this morning. We got after that. Mm. Tomorrow's yoga. Two people usually show up. I invite like 12 because nobody wants to do it. But I keep it under an hour. Saturdays is day off. Where we go for a run. Dude, this and, is incredible. Sun, Sunday is a, a four-hour commitment in the backyard, in the gym. I have, my, I have my gym and I have three spots outside where I have all the, I have a ninja course back there. Dude, oh, oh I can't God, wait. Sounds incredible. No, yeah, I cannot yeah. wait. Yeah, yeah. This sounds incredible, This sounds like man. this is the coolest yeah. thing ever. A ninja course? Dude, <laughs> uh, you, you, do this, yeah, we're, you do this like awesome. week after week, you do this every month, you take months Is it a lifestyle? What do we, you know? Well, well, I mean, like people ask me, how often? Like, <laughs> and I Every go, day. All the time. <laughs> all the time. How often do you eat? All the time. How often do you sleep? All, all the, the time. time. How often do you go to work? All the time. How often do you pay your bills? All, all the, the time. time. And that's swell, because that's what everybody else is doing. And now you're surviving on Earth. Good for you. You want to freaking thrive? You want to thrive? <laughs> yeah. You want to be exactly, 65 and, and, and train with 30 years old? Exactly, dude. dude. You, you, I mean, because for me, it's up in here, and it's in here. It's how I, it's how I think, and it's how I feel. And then I have a nice aesthetic after effect too. Because when I ski, I want to start at the top and I want to go on the bottom and I want to take breaks, yeah. right? And when I when we're working out with friends, I'll go, what, what are you lifting there? What are those, 55s? I'll pick up the 60s, you know? But also, mm. I mean, I know when to back down. I know when to, you know, I mean, right. I'm a little tired today. I'm a little sore today. You know, right. my biorhythms are off. I don't know what it is. Sure. Yeah. It changes from day to day. It does. Avoid the to, injuries, you right. know. Yeah. Good form, good function when yeah. you're doing yep. it. But it's, it, like you said, Joey, from the very beginning, it's consistency. It is. That's what it is. All right. That's I mean, the more is. you do, the better you get. Right. Yes. I mean, if you're working out three days a week or four days a week, again, you're going to have more days off than days on. And so you're going to have that internal battle. And that's the reason why your mood's going that's down. That's exactly right. I, that because you're releasing all those yeah. chemicals. And, and then, then you you're take, not. You take They're two days right. off and, the, and your body's like, what happened? What is going yeah. on? Yeah. 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 So, it makes perfect sense. Wow. So, right. it's, it's, I'm, it's, I'm here it's, to help. Yeah. Wow, okay. So, and, and I, not to circle back, <laughs> but it. more about your story here, because you, in my mind, were Superman when we were doing P90X, right? And you just were at the peak physical condition doing things that, I mean, I... Demon possible. In a lot of ways, though, actually, I'm in better shape now than I was. So tell me that That's story. Incredible. So now, and then you, you, it, you had a health you battle, had a health right? Battle. You went through something, right? Yeah, in uh, October 2017, uh, I was going through a lot of stuff. I was going, through, I was with Beachbody for 20 years. Yes. Right. And you would think, like, in, like Tom Brady, hey, look, oh, just, you know, set me up so that I'm doing good. Oh, wait right. a minute. Well, you don't want to do Tom that. Brady. I'm going to go, I'm gonna go to Florida, right? I mean, and right. that's kind of what Beachbody did to me. I looked at the contract after 20 years and I was like, you're, you're kidding, right? Yeah. Just, but whatever, they were going through what they were going through. They wanted to make changes. I just, I had to leave. Yeah. So there was a lot of stress. Yeah, man. Yes. Because, you know, you get a certain amount of income. Of course. You know Absolutely. I mean? Right? And I, mean, I, I got two mortgages and, yeah. you know yeah, what I mean? Man. So wait, it's, it's, we've all been there. Yeah. All right? 42 years has and been highs and then massive lows. Massive lows. Massive massive and it's lows. hard, man. It's not like when the journey starts, it no. keeps going up. No, yes. dude. Right. But a lot of people make a lot of mistakes along the way, which yep. they you know, probably shouldn't have or whatever circumstances are, 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 are they are. And then, the, then they're back, you know, there are, uh, you know, there's nothing yeah. worse than being completely unknown and broke and then being this guy and, and then, then heading in that direction that again. Broke. Dude, yeah, it's, I know, it's, dude, I know. Dude, no, it, we, we all We've have been that there. to be the We're world. there, yeah, yeah, well-known and broke. Yeah, exactly. It's crazy. <laughs> that's it's crazy. You can't go to the mall business. Yeah. You can't go to the market, but yeah, and, yeah. and you can't go to the market and buy the items in the market either. Because, I mean, you know, it's like, it's crazy. The transition, was devastating, and yeah, it is. Yeah, dude. and I had friends that were at the Vegas shooting. Uh, they didn't. Oh. They, they were just watching people die on either God. side of them, and uh, and that just hearing them talk, I was like, I, I just was so, you know, destroyed oh by that and their story. And plus, my what was going on with my contract, and then Tom Petty dies the next day. Oh, wow. So there was kind of this triple whammy, and yeah, people showed up at Playa one night, and and I, my father was a tank commander in the army. He was an al you know, it was alcohol issues. Mm -hmm. My father was a was a son of a gun. Yeah, right? he didn't take. You know, right. no nonsense from it. So I had that kind of an energy. It's genetically in me. So I know, I'm, I mean, I have anger issues. Yeah, I get it. Now I meditate and now I do breath work. And, yeah. you know, my wife is very appreciative of that. Yeah. Right. But it's in me. But when that all was going on and I had about 15 people at the house and they were kind of bullshitting and not doing it, I lost my mind. Mm. You sons of bitches, you come to my house for effing free and you're just f f effing around. And you, know, you don't have to, Tom Petty, my buddy died yesterday and people died in Vegas. And, and I just, and they all look at me like, 
oh my God, this guy's lost it. And, I go, <laughs> like, and my sister came to town and go, what's wrong with you? Like, what do you mean? Yeah, that's exactly what we were doing. Like, what are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, that's us, yeah. I'm so fine. So I was <laughs> part of his motivation. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, I mean, I had, I had uh, spring and pox as a kid, like most people had. Yeah, I did, yeah. And that yeah. virus is sitting in there. And yeah. the one thing that activates it is stress. stress. Yes. And I got shingles in my ear. Now, one in 100,000 people who get shingles get it there. And if you get it there, there's a very good chance you're going to end up with Ramsey Hunt syndrome, which is all the facial nerves, all the ner- it goes right into your brain. So you're getting shingles oh in your brain. Justin goodness. Bieber, got it, right? Yes. And um, Bell's palsy, vision problems, everything smelled like secondhand smoke, couldn't taste food. And I was wow. constantly dizzy dealing with something that's called vestibular hypofunction, which is like vertigo. Vertigo is this going yeah. around. This is like your brain. So when I would turn my head, I'd throw up. So I'd have to turn my head like this. So I'd turn my whole body. Because oh, that, no my brain would go, wait a minute, I'm not there yet. Laid in bed, 18 hours a day, couldn't eat, vomited all day, wept in my wife's I mean, this lap. is, this is, and oh, this is like the guy, God. this is like the most invincible person yeah, and I've I was, ever. I was, I was, I, you know, I was down to, Buck fifty or something, yeah. Oh my! Wow, God. man, yeah, man. Tony, Brutal. and look at you now. Like you wouldn't have known. Well, you know, I mean, I had that background. I mean, I had that discipline. I right. had, I had all that fitness in my history. To yeah. fall back on last. the first three months of hell, and then, and then it took about a whole year to come to kind of be semi-normal. The first time I had a gig, I remember it was in Vegas, and I, I had to use my my rollaway suitcase to get through the casino because I couldn't walk in a straight line still. And still, mm. I still end up with vestibular stuff today. I still mm. like when I was in Europe with my wife, just walking on the Champs Elysees. I was like, I'd have to ask her, "Am I walking on a straight line?" You know what I mean? Mm. So I still deal with it. I mean, those nerves are funny. They'll heal when they're good and ready, and sometimes yeah, they never true. do. People who get Ramsey Hunt still have Bell's palsy after 10, 20, 30 years. Holy wow. cow! Wow. Yeah, man. Dude. So meditate. I read John Cabot Zinn's book, Full Catastrophic Living. Changed my life. Yeah, I know Spark I got written Spark. down. Spark, right? <laughs> yeah, write, 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 write them all write down, them for down for us because we're going to be... I mean, this the new, really the new program stuff. called The Power of Four. So, yeah, so yeah, now, so, so tell us, so, yes. you've, so, you, so you came back. You came back full steam, rebuilt the whole system. Yeah, and, and this is all pre-pandemic, of course. Right. Right, but it was a slow, slow go. But, it, you know, about two years in, I could ski again. I could exercise again. The balance stuff is weird. It comes and goes. There's nothing I can do about it. Right. Um, and then the pandemic hit. And you know everything shut down. So my wife and I said, let's just do something in the gym. And we're, we're wearing masks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right? And people are like, you know, and then thirty percent of my fans are like, why you suck? Why are you wearing a mask? Yeah. Because I got other cast members here, and I don't know yeah. what this thing is. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yep. that's how it started. And then after a while, we just shot the thing. We got a studio, and um, there's twenty four routines with me, and cool. there's other trainers that have come in. And the whole thing about the power of four is obviously it's fitness, obviously it's nutrition. I have my own supplement line since mm. when Beachbody was done. I was like, okay, I took a lot of meetings. I met with Tonal. They liked me. They knew who I was. So I got right. that gig. And then the supplement folks said, yeah, we know who you are too. Let's develop a supplement line around your ailment, around your mm. issues. I had leaky gut. I had leaky brain. I had all kinds of problems, man. Wow. And they designed this protein and this foundation for, which basically cleaned out my intestine stuff. Really? And then, um, and then obviously the, the we third, all, the I, 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 I've been in the hospital. I, 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 I chugged it up foundation for Foundation for saved my nephew and sister's life. Like, I, they don't know what's wrong with me. They're IBS, colitis, uh, ulcerative this, colitis. I'm gonna get, you're going to come to my house right away, and I'm going to give you all this stuff. You'll Dude, up. you know what's crazy is I've had acid reflux for years, and... And, it's and you're just, on stuff for and it, I'm right? On stuff for it. I take a Prilosec every day. That, you know, I, know I cannot day. wait to have you guys. I mean, I, I had a friend of mine come to my house for the workout. She said, "Hey, I've been using your stuff. I don't want to tell you because if it was lousy, I didn't want to say anything." But it's working. I said, I'm surprised it's, that you created something that works so well. <laughs> Isn't that great? I know, what are you talking comment? about? Yeah. It's yeah. me. I, you my picture and my name's yeah. on it. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? like, oh God, let me so make funny. some crap so yeah, I can yeah. make, well, make a few bucks. And, and you, know, you know what's yeah. crazy? We well, talk about that all the time. Oh, yeah, we do. Because I'll tell you what. We, yeah, we don't want to call you. anybody out, well, but, but you know. You know what? But it's not even about calling people out. It just disappoints me, Yeah, because there's a responsibility. That I see people that have major platforms, way larger than any of us, all right? You know, like The Rock and and Mark Wahlberg and these guys. And you look at these things, especially like The Rock, this Zoa energy drink. And you know, like, it's this healthy, and and you look at the shit that's in this drink, all right? And I'm not talking bad about The Rock, but like, there is sucralose, 
which we uh, all know we, sucralose basically natural will kill you. flavorings yeah. natural we know flavor, those are which which is basically code word for any sort of chemicals we can put in there under natural flavor exactly. all right there's creatine which i don't know what kind of creatine what they're dumping in there what it means mm. and he's selling millions of these zoa drinks and yeah. as every, a healthy yeah, option as that's his, the problem after his workout and what i do is i pop a zoa and i and i'm like Dude, first of all, he's three times the size that he was when he was wrestling. He's in his 50s. That's physically impossible 100%. if you're doing anything natural at all. So to my point, like, he can do what he wants. And, and I'm actually a fan. He's done some great stuff, and he's cool. The point is, you're Don't selling sell this as something health. that's impossible. It ain't health, know? bro. Yeah. It's not health. Mm -hmm. There's nothing healthy about what you're doing. Yeah. You're a fitness guy, and well, you're really built, it's, and I get it's it. Distorting, and you well. It's but distorting, it's distorting what's, everybody's idea yeah. of what healthy yeah. is. It's like these filters yeah. on Instagram and stuff that, like, it's, it's just not just healthy for people to see. And performance inspired, right. too. Mark right. Wahlberg's thing. I mean, sucralose, sugar-free. I mean, that's... Basically, kiss of death. I mean, sugar free. Yeah, what does this even you. mean? What is free? First of all, nothing's free. So what, you're you're not putting no, sugar. Means, you're putting something it, else. It in means there. they're taking something that comes what from the, the earth, and they're putting in a whole bunch of chemical things that they've created that will make your taste buds think it's sweet, but really it's this chemical that's killing. I mean, it's like, <laughs> that's basically like, what it is. Like, like boom. What, like how bad? Just look at sucralose alone, right? Yeah, how bad yeah, is alcohol it? sugars? People have no idea how just horrible yeah. that is as well. Right. All that's of right. it, all that is tricking your mind into thinking, okay, well, I want more and more and more. It right. Just, it just creates this little little mini addiction. And right. That's right, man. I mean, sucralose has been linked to what? I mean, Crohn's disease. It says that I read somewhere in, 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 don't quote me on any of this. I'm not a medical expert. I'll say all that, please. But I did read in an article that said that literal sucralose, it's a, it, when heated, which is in the body's temperature, mm -hmm. creates compounds that cause cancer-forming cells. I mean, like, what the hell? Yeah. And you're out there promoting this as some... This is my health drink, everybody. Yeah, Go drink it. It's now, the best. See, that, that and you me, look like this. No, but see, it's now like, that to me, that to need, me is, it is an example of, and, and it's again, it's not off. just one person. It's just a no, lot of no, people it's... fall into this when they get powerful. It's like, what's the next move to, act, to tack on that extra 20 mil? What's that? 20 and they billion, just yeah. don't think about the people that they're stepping on while they do it. Right. Yeah. And that's my biggest yeah. problem is that you get to a certain level and all of a sudden, eh, well, also, I mean, 20 million for a drink, perfect, that's a great and, idea. And, and nothing against, I'm not gonna check the ingredients because I don't really care. And again, and maybe they do, but a they lot still of, don't care. But a lot of these, I guarantee you they probably know what's in it. A lot of these guys that you're talking about, they're they're using their platform to, 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 to express that this is their expertise and this is their career when really they're not. No. That right. is, they don't, like, they're, they look great, but I'm sure they have trainers. I'm sure there's a lot of things going into it. They don't have the knowledge or the or the or the time in on the health or the you know what what I, I mean know. they don't it's it's the I actual know. it's one thing to look good I say it's health versus fitness there. all right it's if you're healthy you'll become fit if you're worried about fitness that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be healthy right. that's the truth that's true you know the way I look at it is exercise allows you to have a life that you wouldn't have otherwise. You right. can go places, you can do things. Right. You can it's go true. to Italy on the Appi Appian Trail for four mm -hmm. and a half hours on those cobblestones that Caesar was on and, and enjoy the day. So cool. Or, or if, you're, if you're not exercising, you know, let's say you're eating really great and you're really clean and you're at a decent weight, you're probably not physically able to you know, do a lot of things. Right. So it's really about giving yourself opportunities. I mean, like so I true. ski hard, I climb rocks, I can do you know some pretty yeah. cool things physically. That's why I exercise. You're not to look in the mirror and just say how fabulous you are. Right. That's you, that's like a byproduct. Yeah, of yeah it. byproduct. Exactly. Right. It is. But the the food part is, is the health part. Right. I mean, right. food and nutrition and supplementation is you know that's how mm. you're going to affect the quality of your, your your brain and your organs and how they're going to function and everything else. I mean, am I going to live to 109? I don't know if I will or not. I don't know what 65 is supposed to feel like. It feels Feels in a lot of ways better than 25. I'm just because I've learned things between 25 and well, now. And if you keep yourself in this condition, no, I'm just going to say that yes. everybody, please go to YouTube and watch this episode because I mean, this is really what we should be looking up to at first. 100. percent we shouldn't be looking up to these people like Joe that's, is talking about. That's my point. Who's right. out that's there my not point. doing it correctly yes. and not really caring about you? This is the type of person yes. that we should be looking to yes. for right. that kind of stuff. To me. That is the key. I, I, I feel like that should be what people should be listening to, is that. Yeah, man. You know, instead, everybody's looking at these workout videos, they're, and they're missing the point. You know, it's yeah. not about- They need to navigate to the, to the these, real, the real deal. and gadgets, as you say. You know, it's well, not and, about that stuff. And the one thing, too, that a lot of people aren't aware of, they just think, well, you know, that's just not for me, and, you know, my culture and my family, and I don't have that background, and I'm that athletic, and, you know, I've been this way my whole life, and blah, blah, blah. You know, my story, other than the fact that I got pretty sick a few years ago, you know, years ago you know I, I was i moved six times as a kid i had a horrible speech impediment i had add adhd i had lmnop i had all the acronyms man and i you know what i mean and there was alcoholism in the family 
Yeah. You know what I mean? I, there was nothing about me. And I was a huge procrastinator and I hated physical pain. Mm -hmm. I hated it. But then, you know, you only can be sick and tired for so long before you say, well, what book do I got to read? What mentor do I got to find? What program do I need to do? P90X, like you all have said, is it, it kind of cut through the crap because yeah. there was the variety, because the cast members had personalities, yeah. because the, you know, the set was pretty cool looking, it was because cool. I yeah, gave cool. people two and three ways of doing it something. It trickled down from the top, of course. But it, yes. did. Yeah. it did, yeah, because man. when, you, you know. You set the tone, I, man. I didn't, I didn't, I don't want, I don't need a, a shrink or a drill sergeant to train me. I just, I just needed a normal, regular person who had a sense of humor. That's right. I mean, when I hung out, Petty had a great sense, sense of humor. Billy Idol did, Bruce Springsteen. These were really cool cats to hang out with. Yeah. And the reason why they kept me around is because you know, I wasn't a, I wasn't a meathead, you know, and I yep. was just yeah. a dude who understood kind of their, their mindset because yep. my set mindset was similar when yep. I started. That's yeah. so and that's cool, the same, same thing for you guys and so many others. Right? That yeah. is so cool. You know what I like what you just said? It, it's something that I've been hearing um, kind of ring true a lot now with people who excel in their fields. Like, um, you know, a lot of people, and, and this came from actually Mike Tyson when he sat down, he's like, you know, what, what is your secret, man? He's like, it's, it's, it's the discipline. It's, it's doing the things you hate most love it. And it's funny because he says it's just like almost you do. And I'm right. thinking, that's funny. I'm hearing you say the same thing. It's like yeah. you hate it and you got so sick of yourself. Yeah. Right. That it forced you to go, no, I'm going to attack this like it, like with everything that I love it with. A and that's really what sets apart the people who actually, we all hate it. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody's going to love this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Loves it. It's yeah. about going, this is, the, there's, there's, I now to quote Kobe Bryant, there's, there's no, I'm not going back and forth with myself. I've made the decision. And once you make that decision, that's it. There's no, I'm not going to bargain with myself on this. Am I going to the gym today or not? No, I'm going to the gym today. Well, you know, in my, in my book, I, one of the chapters is love it or leave it, right? There so you go. A lot of people are doing stuff that are supposed to be effective and everybody else is doing it. But when they do it for like a week and a half, they go, this is miserable. Yeah. Well, then go out and find something else. But there are other things that you have to kind of do, that you have to learn to love mm -hmm. because you know what it does for you. Exactly. you like go. running in the wind. Yep. After being exhausted, it's not something I love, but I know what the after effects yep. are. So yoga right. is the same thing. The first 15 minutes of yoga is a living hell. Yeah, it it's is. like, oh my God. But then you're lying in Shavasana and you go, yeah, I might not love it, but man, I sure as hell love how I feel, feel. as a result of doing 100%. it. 100%. Happy baby. Happy baby. Happy baby. Happy baby. Happy baby. Oh, yeah. Happy baby. I, don't, yes. I don't remember yes. that. Oh, yeah. That's right, everybody. Uh, yeah. yeah. Namaste. Oh, my God. So, like, so you got the power of four, power of four. Yeah. That's what we're. That's what we have to look forward to. That's yeah. what we're, we're going to yep. kick butt. And yeah. and and then, and then and the fact that yeah, the we oh, have Horton House of Horrors. The invite of, of dude hey, of our listen, lives listen, here. Listen, we really, we really. Oh heck yeah, we really man! Will, you we kidding? Really will do it. I'm actually excited about yeah. it. I want to try that stuff too. Because does it help with acid reflux and all that stuff? Oh my gosh, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my yeah. It's a twice a day thing. Okay. Right. And then you come to my house. I'll give you a bunch. And then and then we'll pick it up on our. We'll take it from there. Yeah, I don't think so. All right. You won't have to pay for it. Well, don't tell everybody else that. You guys, I'll take, I'll take <laughs> right. care. Hey, I'll man. take care of you boys. Hey, right. man. I mean, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but it, it usually does. I'm, I have a feeling it will because <laughs> yeah, every so you weird. haven't led us astray thus no, far. I am so, so excited yeah. about that. I'm yeah. really, I am really excited about that. Yeah, I, I'm, man. Honestly, I'm super excited. And, and by the way, the protein powder, we have a, a gross amounts of something called HMB. And that we've all these studies are kind of amazing. The HMB with, with high doses of vitamin D3. I mean, as a 65 year old, it's hard for me to maintain the weight. You don't see jacked. 75 year old. No way. Right. It's hard, really hard. Man. But but this combination between these two ingredients, you're going to see just some freaky. Like this one girl came to one of my seminars. I said, Isn't your dad taking it? Yeah. She said, My dad called me. He's, he's saying, What's in this stuff? I have energy. Is there something? Is there cocaine in this stuff? <laughs> I can't wait. Dude. And I'm like, She's like, No, it's just this HMB vitamin and other things. And then she, he calls back three weeks later. He goes, I have packs. <laughs> I have pecs. pecs. Oh, goes, pecs. I, I've started doing a couple push-ups, and all of a sudden, I got some pecs. Well, it's this probably the push-ups and the H and B and the vitamin D three. Wow. So, I mean, yeah, oh we gosh. we did the research and 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 the science is there, man. And cool. you know, that and it so was cool. made really for me and all those things that I was struggling. With, right, so. that is yeah. so cool. very cool. And like I said, you are the proof in the pudding. That to me is yeah. the way it is. You're not some veiny, crazy looking. You're like just a you're, physically you're, fit. Yeah, it's it literally. I, that is exactly yeah, what yeah, I want to be like. The epitome of, 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 like, of, wow, yeah. of peak what are you physical saying? condition. Ah, uh, you know. It, it, great. Yeah. Yeah, and now you go have a, an amazing life from where... Dude, you're such a youngster. Just, Can you, you believe know, this guy? I, I need to work out, man. Yeah, I gotta yeah. get back in the... I used but, to be so jacked. I was like really jacked when I was a teenager. I worked out like crazy because I was trying to keep up with these guys. And then I discovered... 
you know. But then you're gonna have a, you're gonna have a, a college a, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Really, yeah. You know. I mean, hey, when I was in college too, you know, yeah. I mean, this is the '70s. So, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's 2020. I mean? Power hitters, <laughs> power hitters. We've come full circle. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then, but so, then you yeah. discover, like you know, one of the things that I would like to say is. There's a lot of external forces, yes. right? Good and bad. Yes. Right? All right. And so that the bad ones are going to come no matter what. You can't the traffic, you know, the, the, your your family, the yeah. work, yes. the but right. Yeah. That's coming. Yeah. It's it's you you are the internal force. There's two things you control: how you move and when you move, and what you put in your mouth. And if you get those two things right, that's the foundation of who you are as a human being. Jeez. And so all the external forces, you got that because you're you're ready for it. But if you're using weed and porn and alcohol yep. Yep. as a temporary fix. You're just, you know, you're just making the situation worse, right? 100%. So, and I learned Absolutely. that, like, really, I was, you know, I was training and I was also partying at the same time. And then after a while, I was like, these two things don't go together. They just they don't. Do not. No, yeah. no, they don't. They, nope. Yeah. No, man. Wow. Now, I'm convinced with the pressure and stress that I've been under. My last, you know, last five, six years of my life have been one hell of a journey, you know, mm -hmm. truly. Uh, yeah, down and up and building back up now. And it's been wild. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, so much pressure. Um, yeah, and, and literally we... Genetically have a little high blood pressure. Genetically have a little high cholesterol. These kind of things. You're Italian. That's why. I know. Yeah. And uh, you know. And uh, so you know. I the acid reflux is definitely something of stress related for mm -hmm. sure. It's how it, it how it hits us in our family. On my mother's side, it's stomach issues. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. You know. Yep. Um, so you mine too. Yeah. Ours too. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. For me, I've been battling with that, um, and uh, you know, and then you think about your own mortality, and you just go, "My God, I want to live as long as I can." My my daughter Liberty told me years ago that I have to live till I'm 104. So uh, oh, that's cool. Mine's my number is 109. Is it okay? All right. Yeah. So she we'll said, see. "Dad, we'll you got to live to your 104. <laughs> you got to live to your 104, Dad." <laughs> and I said, "All right, I'm going to do it." You know, um, I you know, she said because that way I'll be. I I had her when I was 33. So she wants me to live till she's 70. Well, let's wind up with this, guys. We all, don't we all want to live, you know, long, healthy lives to see our, you know, our family grow, our kids grow. Yeah, loved just ones. all the things, just spend more time with yeah. loved ones. The best way to do that is to follow somebody's advice like Tony Horton. Yeah. Yep. Because not only is it, it's, it's body and mind. They're yeah. all 100%. Yeah. This if is you, incredibly important If you stuff. don't know who he is, you absolutely should. And, yes. uh, and, and, and from this point forward, I know we're going to be going over to his house and getting in the best shape. Yes. Yes. We, are, we are. Now, where do they find you, Tony? If they want to, yes. if they, like, the website, give us the, do you have an IG? Do you have any of that stuff? Get all that I, out I, there. Well, if you go to TonyHortonLife.com, you'll find go. everything you need. TonyHortonLife.com. I, mean, I, I have, uh, you know, everything's there. Perfect. Perfect. All the that's Facebook it. and the thing. And awesome. The that's and it. That. TonyHortonLife.com. Now, listen, we are going to be, we are going to go over to Tony's house. We're going to get ourselves together and yep. get this done uh, sooner than later. And we're going to start documenting this. Yeah. And we'll, we are going to be, you know, we will use ourselves. Guinea pigs. Yes. Yes. Yes, 100%. It'll be fun, man. Yeah. Dude, I can't I mean, wait. I, what's yeah, interesting, I just make it fun, and you do what you can, but, and, and here's we what's laugh cool. and We're all different right. types. That's what's so cool. Yeah. We sort of run the gamut yeah. here. Yeah, you do. Like, if it's it's almost like small, medium, large. Like, you know, Andy is, <laughs> no, yeah. Andy is, Andy is the, he is, the, big he, he is the anvil of the, of the, the anvil. powerhouse. The an oh, Andy wow. is by far yeah. the strongest yeah. of any of us. There's no, yeah. there's no doubt about it. Andy's legs genetically. His, oh my gosh! His like glutes, I get the legs. his yeah. glutes, his Me thighs. Too, I, I get the legs. Man. Oh. Same his thing. thighs, his calves. I mean, his legs are twice the size twice. of Matt's legs, Twice. and mine are in wow. the middle. Yeah. Just genetically, yeah. um, none of us are overweight. But I have been in better shape. Matt has been in better shape, and so has Andy. Been at all different points in our life. So. I'm excited, and we're Me all too. different ages too. So there's going to be a real sort of cross-sectional for you to work. So with you're going to go from small, medium, large to awesome, fabulous, and super califragilistic. Dude, <laughs> let's go! Let's do it! Let's go! I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, all right, cool. all right Tony, everybody. thank you so much yeah. for being here, man. Yeah, man. Truly such, a such pleasure. A, yeah, dude, I mean, absolutely like, great. Really, no really, literally, like, such uh, a pleasure. We were so awesome. excited that yep. you wanted to do the show with us because honestly, like you've been a part of our lives for literally twenty years. Yes. Yep. So I just, it's so cool to have you in studio. It is. Never did I think five years ago when all the shit was never hit the fan that I'd have a pod with my brothers that would be blowing up like it is and have you in studio on it. It's weird. It is. It's crazy. Crazy. You, you guys together, I, I could have just sat here, it's not said a word because I was thoroughly entertained. All right, dude, man. Good. You we guys, appreciate are, you it. guys are fabulous. Thanks, really, man. And like again. From my end, I really appreciate you having me on. Of you know course. What I mean? Awesome, Because a lot of people don't know who I am, the younger folks. Well, so. well they they're will. about to. Trust yeah, me. They yeah, they we, were about we to. We have, our fans are amazing, and they are 
generational and they and go very from proactive like 15 yeah. to like 75 that's the truth very and cool. they are proactive very so proactive. we're getting the word out there yeah, and dude. we're going to use ourselves as the mules so that they can see what you first can do. hand what you can yes do. absolutely yeah. all right right on come awesome. back brother. and visit us anytime, anytime. And we look anytime. forward anytime. to seeing we'll you at the casa buddy from the horton house of horror absolutely and we will we will <laughs> yeah. we will let's do it all right guys all right everybody god bless we will see you next time next friday next friday bye guys see y'all thank you bye